Chapter Five of Conan and the Queen of the Black Coast by Robert E. Howard. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter Five, The Funeral Pyre. Now we are done with roaming evermore. No more the oars, the windy harps refrain, nor crimson pennon frights the dusky shore. Blue girdle of the world. Receive again her whom thou gavest me. The Song of Belit Again dawn tinged the ocean. A redder glow lit the river mouth. Conan of Samaria leaned on his great sword upon the white beach, watching the tigress swinging out on her last voyage. There was no light in his eyes that contemplated the glassy swells. Out of the rolling blue wastes all glory and wonder had gone. A fierce revulsion shook him as he gazed at the green surges that deepened into purple hazes of mystery. Belit had been of the sea. She had lent it splendor and allure. Without her it rolled a barren, dreary, and desolate waste from pole to pole. She belonged to the sea. To its everlasting mystery he returned her. He could do no more. For himself its glittering blue splendor was more repellent than the leafy fronds which rustled and whispered behind him of vast mysterious wilds beyond them and into which he must plunge. No hand was at the sweep of the tigress. No oars drove her through the green water. But a clean, tanging wind bellied her silken sail, and as a wild swan cleaves the sky to her nest, she sped seaward, flames mounting higher and higher from her deck to lick at the mast and envelop the figure that lay wrapped in scarlet on the shining pyre. So passed the queen of the black coast, and leaning on his red-stained sword, Conan stood silently until the red glow had faded far out in the blue hazes, and dawn splashed its rose and gold over the ocean. End of Part 5 End of Conan and the Queen of the Black Coast by Robert E. Howard Recorded by Phil Chenevere in April of 2013